This is the first in a series of presentations about database fundamentals. This, provides, this presentation provides a little bit of history and uh, terminology for relational databases. A database is a collection of data. How that data is organized determines what type of database it is. And there have been other types of databases, such as hierarchical and network, but in the past couple of decades, the relational database has been the most prevalent. E.F. Codd, a researcher at IBM, was the person who published a paper at the beginning of the 1970s proposing the terms and principles for relational databases, and therefore he's often referred to as the father of relational databases. Peter Chen, a professor in computer science, wrote a paper in the mid-1970s and he proposed the entity relationship model as a way of diagramming a relational database. Here's an example of an entity relationship diagram. This is for an auto repair business. This business needs to track information or data about customers, vehicles, repair orders, the detailed list of items in each repair order, and information about employees. The data model, the ERD, can be used as a blueprint for building a database. It can also be simply the documentation, or importantly, the documentation for how the database is uh, actually constructed. So why bother with databases? Because virtually any organization you can think of, business, profit, nonprofit, government, needs to keep track of data over time. And that's what databases do. They provide a fairly efficient way to store and retrieve data. So whether you want to track information about customers or inventory or you want to track donors and their donations, you probably need a database. In our field, we generally make a distinction between the term information and data. We call information data that's been organized in a way that's useful to someone. So, for example, you might have a list of phone numbers and email addresses for employees in the marketing department and present this in a sorted list by last name. As opposed to data, which would be all the raw data elements, so that would be all the data about the employees. A database or their software designed specifically for building and maintaining a database and the examples we have for relational databases that you're probably familiar with are Microsoft Access. This is for desktop PC environment and then the larger scale more uh, full featured DBMSs such as SQL Server or SQL Server, Oracle, DB2 and MySQL but there are others as well. So this has been a very short overview of relational databases. Subsequent presentations will get uh, into much more detail about what is a relational database and how it is designed and built.